Gators, humans versus zombies had their midnight mission before their summer big five day event. And let's just say, yeah, that happened. Uh, some of the veteran players, a majority of the veteran players who played tonight, all got tagged by the original zombie pretty much during the epic standoff cutscene while everyone was distracted. Is there an NPC that isn't like that? It's a smiling, <laughs> it's a smiling dead body. It's a, it's a more smiling dead body. Running away now. Okay, here's the funny part. I, I, come behind, I, Basically, I, if you've watched my videos, you've seen the guy, he has like the long hair and the beard, plaz music playing as he walks around with that neat white strife, which is the same build as this guy. And yeah, he was telling everyone, he was being a shot caller, he was telling everyone, okay, this looks bad, we're going to walk over here. This looks bad, we're going to walk over here. So all the veterans were just kind of flowing with him off to the side. So while that was going on, the original zombie basically was just playing Pokemon all night walks over into them, apparently, and tags all of them before they figure out what's going on. He got, like, four or five. Now, if anyone's ever played Humans vs. Zombies for a five-day event, you can't lose all your veteran players in one shot like that. When that happens, there's a good chance you're going to have the game end unless the, the mods just really cheat for the humans, probably by Friday night, because Friday night's usually the big... A lot of, like, one or two of your key pieces get lost. This is, like, three or four in one shot. One who even saw the other really good players go went, okay, I'm just going to join those guys, and suicided and joined them. It's so like, okay, so what do we do now? Well, it turns out, when you go to the first night, you cannot use any weapons. And I think I talked about that. You had to just use socks. I just kept two on me. I hardly ever throw the things. Usually by the time you ever could really use them, it's weapons hot. So I figured, okay, that happened... We can use weapons now. So I take the weapons out. You hear an actor. One of the actors goes, Okay, we found a cache. You, we have weapons. So I take it out. I'm going to go hunt these guys. Heck, don't let them chase you from behind. Play humans versus zombies. If you know where you, they are and you have like a multiple firing weapon, you go, I'm going to go hit these guys. So I go over. I start firing. Hit one or two. And I hear off in the distance, a moderator, Weapons are not active yet. Yeah, so come to an agreement with some of the players who returned, and we'd all just went, okay, no one's tagged, Let's just go back over there. And like two seconds later, it's like, okay, we're done, go home, but you're not safe. Okay, so without weapons, we have to run to our cars. Okay, we're going to run to our cars now. And the guy who tagged all those really good players is basically a Marine in really good shape. Had you seen the videos with me and the practice firing where... The head's cut off where I'm shooting, and you just see the gut. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry for that. I hope I'll get in shape or look better on camera. But I'm going, there's no way. And also, you guys should know by now, I'm off chemotherapy. Overstage three colon cancer. Hallelujah. But my hands and feet have neuropathy, and that means no filling in the hands, or it's very little, and they get tired fast. So any kind of physical activity I do, I jog for about a minute to get away from this guy. I was like, I'm... I can't. It just, my legs just said, we're done. So I turned around. I'm just going to take this guy out. I'm just going to go after him. Wait till he gets close enough. And I fake throw it. He jumps five feet in the air like a good athlete probably should. And then I throw it. I missed him by, I had to have missed him by a foot right over his head. And I dropped the other uh, sock right on the ground. He goes, okay, you got me. Puts his, his bandana down, down and walks away. Either I just got the biggest pity <clears throat> favor to not be tagged. Or he was just told, look. If we tag any other players, we're pretty much not going to have a game pass tomorrow. So, really, man, I really wanted to go up Weapons Live with the YOLO build. But, yeah, I was able to get to the car. And as we got back, and all that panic happened, we check our email and it says, Oh yeah, Weapons are live at 1.39 a.m. That would have been nice to know. Just the communication going in all kinds of directions. On top of that, I was looking at my wrong email. I have several emails. I have one for business, one for this YouTube channel, one for other things, and I was looking at the wrong one when they were telling me where to go. Yeah, it was just one of those kind of nights, which happens sometimes on midnight missions. So, Gators, Humans vs. Zombies off to an interesting start. So, we'll have to be on our toes. No more YOLO. Straight to the, the really good Edge 2 Strife, and I'm going to have the clips loaded out. Probably not going to wear as many clips because there's not that many zombies, but 
I can't be afraid to just spam this ammunition. I think I was trying to hold on to it. A couple of bucks here and there to stay alive to the end. Usually it's pretty worth it. I don't mind going zombie, but I've already told you I don't run that well. So I want to keep this under five minutes. I'm going way too long right now. So next mission is 12.30 tomorrow. I'll give an update after that. Usually there's a lot better footage in the afternoon. And there's a 7.30 mission at Thursday night. And then the real interesting stuff happens on Friday if any of us are still alive by then or still human. All right, guys. Talk to you.